If you like these videos, coming along with me to the store or seeing what I got in my hauls, please be sure to like and subscribe so that you never miss a video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I might possibly bring you along to Costco. I'm here standing at the Costco. I know you guys didn't see me Thursday or Sunday. Tuesday night my little one was sick. Wednesday night my oldest was sick. Thursday I was sick. And then Friday my husband was sick. So we were all pretty pretty sick and I didn't really start feeling kind of better or like actually eating or wanting to eat till Saturday night and then I started feeling like myself again Sunday morning but I didn't want to film anything too rushed and upload it for you guys even though you know I mean I could have spoken to you guys for like two minutes and uploaded it just to let you guys know what was going on but I figured the next upload I would want to do was a video for you so let's get right on into Costco. We are all better now by the way. So I wanted one of these last year, and I always said, oh, I'll come back and pick one up, I'll come back and pick one up. Never picked it up, but it's only $19.99, and you've got a little bit of everything. Well, due to the coronavirus, I guess, um, no chicken, there's no water. Um, I guess a lot of people have chicken. And then frozen pizzas. I mean, frozen pizzas, it seems like everybody's grabbing. And then the chicken is what I saw, no water. I guess frozen foods for the kiddos, some chicken nuggets. A lot of stuff is gone and I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming here that it's for the coronavirus. I was living in Puerto Rico before Maria happened and if you guys don't know what Maria is, I'm talking about Hurricane Maria. I was in Puerto Rico when it happened because I had been living there for about 10 years. And then I moved right after the hurricane because I had an eight month old baby and um, was trying to get pregnant shortly after. So the stores were literally empty when that happened. And a lot of people were just really nervous about it, but people also weren't dying like they are with coronavirus i mean people died a lot of people died don't get me wrong but this is basically what the stores looked like it was the same thing all the shelves were empty and we're talking about like grocery stores too though like you would walk into the grocery store and look look at all those empty boxes the way you guys see everything kind of empty like that is the way you would see the grocery store and the shelves but i this is probably normal, but everything else is pretty empty. But yeah, guys, everything's empty, no water. Okay, so I think it's been like maybe two days since I took you guys along with me to Costco and I picked up like a succulent arrangement that you guys had seen in the video and then I just picked up one more thing I think I picked up a box of Cheerios but other than that not food related I picked up one more thing and I'm gonna show you guys that but before this trip I had gone to Costco as well to pick up I can't remember what I went to pick up but I walked out with some things for the girls so I'm just gonna get right into that and explain to you what I got on each trip okay so on one of the earlier trips, I'm assuming maybe this was probably a week before the vlog of going to Costco. My little one, I went shopping with my little one and she saw this one and she's really into Ariel. But right now she's like really into Minnie Mouse. Um, she's been watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. She watches more of Minnie Mouse. So I picked this up in the smallest size, if you guys noticed, the 2T. And then this is a 3T so that she could wear this long now, but it'll still fit her later on. And then I figured if I'm getting something for the little one, I've got to get something for my oldest. So I figured they could share this because my... Why does it keep doing that? Okay. Because my oldest um, likes Ariel as well. So I figured they could both share this one. It'll be a little bigger on the little one. And then just right on, the, on my older one, my oldest one. And then I got this one and a 40. So we got a couple of little costumes so they could dress up really cute at home. I'm not sure why 
my focus is doing that this time around but anywho on the vlog one I came across this book my daughter's really been into Fancy Nancy if you guys watched that Walmart haul where she chose um, what outfits to get herself and went shopping for herself she picked up a set that had Fancy Nancy on it and I say in that video that I had no idea who she was I didn't but when I saw this show come up on the um, Disney Junior to watch I definitely watched it I wanted to know who she was she absolutely loves her because she says ooh la la and fantastic so this is literally a book just of all her little stories and this one was at Costco I can't remember the price of these by the way I think they were $14.99 $15 around um, which is great because if you go online to try to find like a little costume they're like $25 then this was either $8.99 or $9.99 and I know because at Walmart these are from Walmart on one of my recent trips at Walmart these are always $12 and at Costco I always find them for maybe $9.99 so like I said this was maybe nine bucks but this is always $11.68 $11 or $11.98 to $12 something so between eleven and twelve dollars and this one's more nine dollars so a two dollar difference but it still makes a difference you know those dollars add up but on one of my Walmart trips I saw this book and she really likes Frozen so I figured this one's all about Fancy Nancy before that though I saw this one I was like oh all about Frozen but we've got like some classics here so I thought the classics would be like really cute and I say classics but I don't think Monsters Inc is a classic but everything else kind of is so there was that and then there's the actual classics this one was $9.99 it's a little bit smaller I love how the pages are blue when you turn it on its side and it's just got these right here but again these are classics this is the story um, the bedtime storybook these are classics these are all five minutes so this is just quick reading five minute five minute five minute this may have that has I think 12 stories but this one as you guys could see only had what was it five or six six but they're actual the actual story so there's that like I said these were like 11 to 12 dollars and this one is an old one this is the first one I ever got and I found this sometimes I like to go to the Goodwill and just look at the bookshelves like what they've got I found this one it says $12.99 here as you guys can see Walmart sells it for maybe 11 something and Costco has the best deal because it sells it at $8.99 or $9.99 if I'm not mistaken I think I'm pretty sure it's $9.99 the point is the books sell for this this amount Walmart has the higher price, Costco has the lower price, and Goodwill you can't beat. I bought this book for 50 cents. 50 cents. So, she's got some Nickelodeon, she's got some Disney, and now, well, that's still Disney, but Disney Junior. So yeah, so she's got the classics, she got the princesses, she's got Fancy Nancy, and this. And that's all, you guys. That's what I wanted to share for my recent trips. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.